back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and then share my video and like my videos thanks to all of my old subscribers today i'm going to be doing a pattern draft for you of a jacket which um in upcoming um video illustration i'm going to be showing you how to sew this jacket also so and uh, the jacket is it's like it's just a straight and um, color and um, peplum jacket so that's what i'm going to be showing you how to draft today it's really easy and and simple to understand so i'm just going to show you uh, i have my pattern papers laid out so this is the back um panel of the of the jacket so i'm now going to open it so the because it's a jacket so jackets usually they have their openings in front so i'm not going to be opening and the back piece so this is the front piece so you can see the front i divided it into two even though the back and the front they are the same because i have an allowance on this and paper so the the front is just going to be lapping from the down part that's where it's going to be lapping but the other up part is not going to have a lap so i'm just going to show you how to draft it it's really simple and easy so the lines that i have here the first line that I have here is my shoulder line and line. So I'm just going to name it like this shoulder line. And then this is my bust line. And then this is my waist line. So these are just like the, the measurements that I need for this um, jacket. So these are just like the measurements. So I'm just going to uh, remove this um, excesses of this thing. So I'm just going to continue. So the, the difference um, that's from my shoulder line to my bust line is on uh, 10 inches. So bust line is 10 inches and then the under bust, I'm sorry, I'm not using the under bust measurements here. And then the waist line is 14 inches. That's the half cut. That's where I'm going to be cutting the jacket from. So that's before we attach the peplum. So I'm just going to keep the back piece and then work with um, this front piece. So I could even keep the other side. I'll just work with this and then. When I'm done, I'll place them together to cut out. So the first thing I'm going to measure out now is the shoulder measurement. And the shoulder measurement that I'm going to be using for this, I'm going to make use of 14 inches. And when you divide 14 into 2, you have 7 inches. So shoulder measurement, they're usually divided into 2. So and then I'm just going to add a 1.5 inch allowance from the shoulder line point. And then I'm going from this point now, so I'm going to measure 8 inches. So this 8 inches is going to serve as my, my armhole line. So I'm just going to roll it like this. And then I'll bring it to this side. So the next thing that I'm going to do now. The next thing I'm going to do now. I'm going to um, measure out my armhole line. And in measuring out my armhole line, I'm going to use... The bust measurement and the bust that I'm using for this jacket is 32 inches. So when you divide 32 into 4, the bust measurement and the waist measurement, this you divide into 4. So when you divide, because I have, I have, I have fabric or paper, what, um, whatever you're using, you can see it's 4 piece. So for the sake of beginners, so that's why I'm just explaining and this. So that is why it is divided into 4. So the bust line, I'm going to be using 8 inches. From this and center line so this is my eight inches and then i'm going to add my allowance so i'm just adding the allowance even though it's a pattern i'm just adding the allowance straight to this point so i'm using 2.5 inches allowance or you could use two inches so that is what i'm going to do so i'm just going to come to the center of my armhole line now so this is like the center so i'm going to move I'm going to rule out the armhole line. So I'm just going to do this now. So this is for my armhole. So the next thing I'm going to do now, so this is my bust line. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure the under bust measurement. The under bust measurement I'm using is 28. So when you divide 28 into 4, you have 7 inches. So this is 7 inches. This is my 7 inches. And then I'm using my regular 2.5. But for this, I'm going to be adding uh, the essence of using this 2.5 is that was why I used it from the top down because I want the down part to lap on top of each other. 
so that is the essence if now i would have used like one inch or 1.5 inch allowance so i'm just going to to add up use the 2.5 or you could decide to use three inches for the down point so you could decide to do that so if you want it to lap properly so i'm just going to use undotted lines like this and then i'm going to rule it out straight like this okay so, guys so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be inserting the neckline so this is our uh, the shape that's our measure body measurement so now i'm going to be inserting the neckline for the neckline i'm going to make use of three inches uh, width both for the back and the front so i'm just drafting the front at the end of the day i'm going to cut it out i'll cut it with the back so i'm going to use on um, three inches that's the width that i'm using i make use of three inches from this and um, from the center this is three inches so you could use 3.5 depends on how open you want and um, the middle part of and um, the jacket to be so i'm just going to use on um, three inches here and then from this and um, three inches point i'm just going to to take it and um, straight to i'm going to take a mark and um, straight that's from this point i'm coming to the hemline of this jacket so i'm coming to this point that's what i mean so i'm just going to make a straight and v with my uh, small ruler so i'm just going to slant it down so i'll use the longer, the longer one so i'm going to be cutting it out So I'll cut it out. So for this uh, point, I just came in just like um a tiny and uh, quarter of an inch. So that's what how much I'll take out from the down. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, measure out on the shoulder slope. So I'm measuring out on the shoulder slope. So I'm just going to take um uh, one inch to this point. So I'll slant it to the neckline point like this. So I'm just going to slope it down for the shoulder slope so you could see and the draft here. So I'm going to cut it out with together with the back piece now. So this is the back and pattern. So I'll just put it together like this. I'll cut out the side and then before I cut out the neck line for the back pattern. So I'm just going to place them together like this. And then I'll cut out. So I remember I'm just going to add um my allowance, my um, waist and that to it before I cut out. So in adding the waist that I'm just going to come to this point like this. So from the neckline point, I'll measure four inches, and then I'll come to the waist also. I measure my four inch. So I'm just going to connect it straight. So from this point, I'll take half, you could take as much as one inch or half inch, depends on how and what you want. So I'm just going to mark it from this point like this, from this and breast point line, or I could decide to go up. So it depends on what you want. So you could go up or you could mark straight from here. So I'm just going to mark it. So I'll cut them out now. So I almost I forgot uh, my back uh, armhole. So the back armhole, I'm just going to to connect it from this point like this. So that's for the back armhole. I almost forgot that. And then this one is the front one. So I'll plant the shoulder measurement like this, the shoulder slope like this now. So I'll cut out on the front and neckline and then before I cut out the back neckline. So I'm just going to place them together like this. So I'll cut it out. So at the end of the day, so this is what I have. This is what I'm going to be having. So you look, you, you could, you look at it. 
and you decide on uh, what you want depends on how uh cross you want and this part to be so because of the color that we're going to be adding to it so it's, the color is just going to complement it and properly so i'm just going to keep this one and then do the back and neckline so i'm going to use a one inch depth for the back neckline or 1.5 so the depends on one inch is okay. So the next thing I'll do now, just insert the dart also for the back pattern. So this point is just like one inch upwards. So that's that. So I'll keep the back piece, I'll come back to it when we are about to fix on the color. That is when I'll come back to it. So the next okay, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to be cutting out my peplum. But before I cut out the peplum, so I already have my pattern paper folded here. I just want to show something to you before I continue. So this is the back uh, of my pattern, and then this is the front uh, pattern. So you could see uh, the way the pattern, this is how it's going to sit. This is how the jacket is going to sit on it. So because of the extra allowance that is in the on the front and side, so it's going to lap on the the down part. So you could decide in, in creating uh, this pattern from the beginning, you could decide to add an extra one inch to make your the front pattern a little bit bigger than the back. Or because I added extra allowance, so that was why I didn't bother doing that. So you could decide to do that if you if you are will be short on fabric. So that's that. I just wanted to explain it to you. So I'm just going to uh, keep and this, and then I'll continue with the explanation. In cutting out and uh, the peplum for this, I'm going to be making use of the front of my pattern. That's the measurement I'm going to be making use of. And what I actually have here, I have 10 inches. You see, the back and pattern is a little bit smaller. That's from the down part. I have, and um, this one is like about nine inches. So it's a little. The front pattern is bigger because of the lap that is on, on the down part so i'm going to use uh, this pattern that's the width the entire width that's what i'm going to use to, to calculate my peplum because if you notice you see the the dress the jacket is, is wrapped around it's almost wrapped around so that's why i'm going to use the entire length so before you do this you should consider trimming your pattern to the right and measurement before you continue so I will use um, 40 inches, which is um, 10, because this is 10 inches, so that's 40 inches, that's plus all the allowance included here already, because this is the pattern, the allowance is included. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to use that 40 inches, so I'm not going to be trimming out any part. And in using the, the flare formula, which is 6.28, you divide 40 by 6.28 I, I after dividing it i came up with 6.36 and 9 so i'm just going to approximate it to 6.3 so it's it could be 6.34 but 6.3 so i'm just going to come and to, to my folded and paper that's my pattern paper in getting the flare i'm just going to measure the 6.3 inches on this point So I have other um, videos on my channel on how to calculate uh, your um, peplum circumference. So your, your peplum radius, sorry. So I'm going to drop the link. So this is my 6.3. I'm just going to measure it round from this top point. So this is this is my the radius of this is the radius of this um of this jacket that I'm trying to do now. This is how you actually achieve the radius. So make sure it's accurate. So I have my dotted lines lined out. So the next thing I'm going to do now, the full length. So what I have here, the length that I have here is 14 inches. And the full length of the blouse is 23 inches. I'm going to add a one inch allowance to it. So everything that I'm, I'm going to have at the end of the day is going to be at 24 inches. So I'm going to measure out, I have 14 inches, I'm going to measure out 10 inches from this point. So 
So this is my 10 inches. So I'm going to cut it out now. So I'm going to, um, I'm just going to use uh, my cup to cut it out nicely. Um, so I finished cutting out on the peplum. So this is the peplum. So I'm going to uh, open up on the peplum, which I've already done. So this is the line. I just open it. You just open it from one end. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you how to attach and how to measure out and the color because the color is going to run from this top to the bottom so i'm going to show you how to do that in um before i do that what i'm going to do i'm just going to take the back piece in order for me to know how to measure for me to get uh, my color and uh, properly so this is the middle of and uh, the back this is the middle of the back and then this is the the back and neckline that's half of the back neckline this is half of the back neckline so i'm just going to take on this front piece like this i'm going to place it here on the neckline so this is how much a uh, lap is going to have like that, that i was trying to explain initially so this is how much a uh, lap i actually want it to lap i just want it to lap on this side just with a few uh, inches so i'm just going to keep this and then i'm going to tape on this point for you to know how to measure out uh, your collar so I'm just going to tape, I'll tape this um, point together, that's from the shoulder line, and then I'll tape uh, my peplum like this, so I'm just going to move it up a little bit. So I'll tape on the peplum, this is the side that I opened on the peplum, I just open this, so just uh, place it like this and then you open, so that's that. So I'm just going to tape on the open end of the peplum, I'm just going to place it like this, on top, we're using half an inch and... Um, that's the half inch that I'm going to use to stitch. So I'm just going to secure it like this with the half inch on the half inch point. And then I'll measure from half of the neckline down to this um, point. So I'm just going to start measuring. So I'm going to start measuring from this um, point like this. So I'm just going to take my tape like this. I'm measuring like this. So when I go, uh, I got to this uh, point, that's half of the neckline measurement, is, which is uh, 3 inches, which is 3 inches. So I'm just going to place it like this. And then from this point, I'll just take my 3 inches, I'll take it up like this. So I just put my tape there on the 3 inches point, raising it up. And then I'm going to measure like this down to the down of the peplum. So I'll just bend it like this. So... You could see what I have. I actually have 27 and a half inches. So that is what I have. So that is how much color I'm going to cut. But this 27 and a half is going to be double because the color is going to run through this whole um, part like this. It's going to run through. That's like this. So this is how much um, I'm going to cut out. So I'll show you now how to cut um, the color. So I'm just going to take this now. And then place it on the side. So in cutting out the collar, it's really simple. All you have to do is you just unfold uh, your strap like this. You fold on uh, your pattern paper, and then you measure how you measure how long that the width of the collar that you want to measure. So I'm just going to use uh, the strap that I've already cut out here to ex to do the explanation for you. So I already have the collar and strap cut out. Just because of time so all you have to do is to, you determine how uh, wide that you actually want your color to be so what i actually have here is three uh inches and color so that is so that's on four it's actually three inches but when you open it up it's six inches so you see six inches so after um, stitching it's going to it's going to reduce to about five inches that's it's going to reduce to 2.5 inches so and then the the strap of the color so i'm just going to use um our inches that I measured out, I'm going to double it. So that is how much and strap that
that I'm going to cut out. So the strap that will run through. So that is that. So the next thing I'm going to cut now, so I'll keep on the strap on the side. So this is the amount of strap that I actually needed for one side. So I'm going to cut out of another one and then I'll attach it when I'm when we are cutting on the fabric. In our next and uh, next uh, upcoming uh, video, you will see what I mean. So in cutting out and uh, the sleeve, so in cutting out the sleeve is just a basic uh, long sleeve pattern. That is what I'm going to be using for this um that is what i'm actually going to be using just the basic and long and sleeve so i'm just going to to cut out on this point so and i'll measure on my sleeve um uh, the length of the sleeve that i actually want to use so i'm going to be making use of 19 inches so this is a 19 inches so I'll just uh, mark it out straight like this. So the next thing I'll do, I'll, I'm just going to come to this point. So I'll measure on my sleeve measurements. And the round sleeve uh, measurement that I'm actually using is 9 inches. So I'm just going to measure a 9 inches. I'll make sure that my um, my paper, that's my the, the pattern paper that I'm using, I have up to 10 inches. That's the other, the extra 1 inch will be for my seam allowance. So I'm just going to make sure that I have about and 10 inches and then from this and right hand side i'm just going to come down by five inch and then i'll will, i'll will make it a, a slant like this so i'm just going to make a curve like this so that is that so this, this serves as my sleeve curve so that's that so this is just like a basic uh, sleeve and then my bicep the from the wrist and parts is a uh, 12 I'm using six inches that's for the wrist side so because it's not going to be tight and then from the bicep part the bicep is the top part of your sleeve so i'm just going to use um eight inches like this so i'm just going to to slant it like this from this point i'm just going to slant it up so i'll cut it out now so this is uh, my sleeve and pattern already cut out Okay, guys, so I'm just going to uh, just uh, spread out uh, my patterns all over the table just for you to see. So this is the front piece. So this is how much lap is going to be uh, from the half and uh, cut area. Like I said, I don't want it to lap um, too much. So this is my, the peplum, then this is the sleeve, and then this is the, the collar. In attaching this collar, you just start uh, attaching it down from the middle. You just start attaching it from the center back that is actually where you start you just make a notch and then you start attaching so that's just that so guys so you should just uh, watch out for the coming the sewing part of this um video because i'm going to make and that a uh, video so we are going to be transferring these patterns to our fabric so guys i've now come to the end of this um illustration if you find it helpful please do not hesitate to like it and then share if you have not subscribed subscribe to my channel so thank you so much. If you have any comments or questions, you could drop them down for me. So I'll see you.